Hello, ni hao. Morning. Hey, Robert, ni hao. Sean. Uh, Sean, he came early today, huh? <laughs> Hi, Joanne. Ni hao. Diane, ni hao. Awesome. <laughs> Hello. Uh, C-Y-H-H. Hi. All right. So uh, in US this uh, morning, 8.45 in Pacific time. Hi, Karen. Ni hao. Okay, well, that, uh, we are ready. And welcome our new friend <laughs> from London. All right, let's, we are settle down for seconds. Uh, we are switching schedule from the Saturday uh, beginning Tai Chi class become Tuesday uh, class. Uh, hopefully you guys can uh, adjust in it a bit. Okay, all right. Okay, let's we are slowly palms down, relax. And bring our feet together. And we're ready for today's class. Okay, big, nice attention. Slope, right hand fist, left hand palm. Highly respect and peace. Okay, Zhao San Hao. That's good morning. Or you can say Ni Hao uh, anytime in Ni Hao. It means hello. <laughs> All right. Hey, good morning. Ni hao. Uh, body and guan. Let's go. With both hands reach up. We are stretching. And we're leading to the sides. Nice. Then other side. Okay. Straight up. And going down, stretch your wrist a little bit, uh, cross fingers, and reach up. Okay, straight leading forward. Okay, slowly backing up, and we're leading back. And let go. Okay, let's open our feet. One arm on the back. We'll reach down and we'll turn it to the other side. Okay, come back. Switch. Okay, back. Repeating again, one side to the other. Okay, last time. Okay. 
Okay, great. All right, arms cross. And we're leading forward. Nice, okay. Let's have C, let's sit down. Do some stretchings. And uh, for some people, you can sit on the chair to do it too, okay? Okay, we'll reach out. Nice, okay. Now push into the right. Okay, and other side. Wonderful. Once again, forward. Now, sometimes in uh, school, um, yeah, some people we have a different stretching levels. So maintain yourself. Don't need to force in too hard. Uh, just breathe. When you exhale, you can be, you know, gravity will take you down a little bit. Okay. All right, bring our feet together. And we'll reach forward. For sure, there's many different ways to stretch in, uh, but that we'll use this way in every single classes. Okay, let's, we are going a little deeper. Stay a few more seconds. Okay, put your soul together. Chest up, hips down. Then we'll rotate your neck. Two times each way. Not too quick. Yeah. Wonderful, all right, now we're leading forward. Nice, okay, cross things. One leg cross to the other, bending down on the back, or you can keep it straight, okay? Arms cross over the knee, and arms pulling on the back, and twisting a little bit. Switch. Nice. All right. We are slowly standing up. Okay. Again, shake your leg a little bit. And rotate your knees. Five time each way. If you like count with me in Mandarin, you please do so. Okay. Ready, E, R, San, Si, Wu, other directions, Liu, Qi, Ba, Jiu, Shi. All right, and rub your knees. Just let them get ready. All right, angles side to side. Now we're forward and back, heels up, toes up, balance. Now making circle, this outside the edge, switch. Nice. Okay, we've got to keep a turn up to our hips. Okay, other side. Nice, okay, next one, shoulders and then spine. I call it wave from the bottom, wave up. 
skirt backwards from the bottom. Open them. Nice. Okay, we'll take it one step forward. Now we're stretching down. Now let me show you the side way. See if you can make your toes straight ahead, you can stretch your calves here, front here, and your front legs, toe grip in the floor. Okay. All right, switch legs. Nice. Okay, open our feet. Little wider stance. Of course, you can do a low stance, okay? If anyone chose low stance, your toes meet straight. We call outside our shoulders. That's a, how we switch to the drop stance, okay? Other side, I'm gonna be keep a stay high stance. Okay, wonderful. All right, this is a normal routine we always do uh, before the class. All right, today we are going to do still the same thing, the basis footwork, upper body technique, and some breathing techniques for this uh, basic Tai Chi warm up. Okay, all right, and then we are going to do the eight. Uh, today I'm gonna be uh, talk about the how to feel in the heavy feeling uh, on your body to, uh, to a little details and uh, I can explain something uh, very simple. So, all right, but let's we we'll get back to simple first. Let's go hang on the back. Now again, sit, let's arch your back right here. When you drop the knees down, leave it right here. You don't want to be arched like this. So make sure you remind them. Now feel in that circle, okay? And the stomach go back, sit on your hips. Now, if you're not comfortable for your shoulders, you can leave it in the front. You can do like this. All right, let's go T stance. Now turn your Dantian to the left side. Step one, two, and three, bow stance. Now make sure your body don't lean forward. Now stay center. Okay, way back. Of course, you see the screen. You can see uh, my pastor street line. Now from the top head, chest and gravity straight line like that, okay? Settle down, T-stands. Of course, you can skip the T-stands. T down. Slowly, now right here, drop the chi down, breathe out, pick up. To recognize your heel down, dian, mian, shi, ah, shi means settle down. Okay. Now you guys uh, normally go with me practice. Try to skip this T stance and body constantly turning. Uh, okay. When we slow down, you actually practice more your balance. See, pick up. Put them down. Dian. Mian. Shi. Let's move on to the next stance. Parallel stance. Okay. Now, drop the chi down. Feet together. Keep a little space between your feet. Then we'll move to your left. Now, use our toes landing. So, chi down. Off ground. Keep it going. Take three steps over one side. And other side. Okay, we have to go back, back to our right side. Now, this is a very easy. Just take a step out. But our mind, you can use a 
tracking your joints or your toes, ankles, knee, hips, and chi down and pick up. Same idea, chi down, toes, ankles, knees, hips, like that, to track in the movement. And then relax. Okay, that's just very basic two basic stances. Next one, open our feet. Okay, right palm up, left palm down, and relax your upper body, but strengthen your lower body. Now this is Dan Tian. Okay, ready? We're gonna switch arms, turn it. Yeah, when you practice for a while, uh, this moment is very simple. How we keep it, um, practice in a good way to less focus on the arms. Once you get coordinated, little Dantian energy sending out. Now we recognize the heavy and light. Okay, right here. Two opposite energy, up and down, passing each other for a moment. Feel the heavy, when they pass each other, it's light. Heavy and light. Last time, heavy and light. Okay, we are shifting away now, bending your left leg. So your body, follow your energy moments. Shift your energy to the right, and your body over. Bending. Good. Last one. Okay. Now top hand will change in, facing to you. Now we're doing this uh, young style cloud hands. Rolling, so here, same thing, a little heavy. Your energy sending out to your Chinese called Mo Shao. Uh, Mo Shao, the ending energy, which means our fingers, uh, our palm. You're sending energy out, so direct, feeling that heaviness and lightness, okay? So here's light. Now energy sending out heavy. Energy back to Dantian. Okay. All right. We're adding a footwork. And back to the left. Right leg pick up. Oh, slow. You know, sometimes people practice, they like dragging the toes. Uh, especially when we practice this simple one. If you can, try not dragging your toes at all uh, by feeling, we call qin ti, qin fan. Uh, qin ti, let's come back first, back to your right. What you mean, very light, lift up, ti means a lip. Okay, fan is a drop. Very lightly to lift up, very lightly to drop down. Yeah. So you feel your lower body improving your balance. Now stay same levels, over, last one. Feet don't move, let's get back. Right hand down the bottom, crossing, come up. And we'll let go. Okay, up and down. Breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one. All right, palm facing each other's. 
in front of the chest and let's open. Just be mindfulness to move your moments. Inhale to feel your dantian. And from the center, see expanding all the way out. And for center, step back, step back. Last one. Okay, holding the ball. Small to big. And if you have any friends um, or uh, some passion like you, this is a very simple thing, three things to practice. Adjusting your mind, your body, and your energy. Last one. Each size. Good. Both hands in front. Then we let go. All right. Lay back. Nice. Okay, well, um, that's our basis warm up. So earlier uh, when we're doing the up and down, open and close, um, let me share some a little story with you. Uh, I, it is I teaching uh, Tai Chi with a different ages. Now more younger, sometimes happening adult too. So especially when we're doing the open, close, these circles, um, which mean when you practice Tai Chi, a lot of young people, uh, I also share with the college students, right? So when they start in the practice, sometimes it is, uh, you know, um, I see them when we do these circles because uh, if a mind doesn't settle down, you feel feeling, you know, you have no idea what you're feeling this part, just feeling like so boring, just put your hand like this. But when we settle down, we're seeing our energy and our body internally, the movements, and uh, you feel differently. Now starting, now sometimes how, become how to be mindfulness to do that. We are, are learning how to track in the, the Dantian from here, next to connecting our shoulder hips, okay? And then elbows and knees, and then our wrists, which mean our palm, fingertips, which is our angles. So feel like this. Now, for example, if I take a step, see like this? My Dantian expanding to your shoulder hips, there's two elbows, knees naturally, and then your feet, your palm, and we're starting to go that way. Same idea if you pick, you know, same idea like this, pick, you feel in that way, the same thing. So from inside, go outside. But that take a time to training. Now, beginning, you might be only seeing one big picture, movements, uh, so time, or step by step, training ourselves to look it deeper to see that small part of movement in your body. Okay? That way you can feel energy better by practicing. Let's go. Eight. Yang stop Tai Chi. Adjusting your breathing. Settle down. Let's go add in a big circle. Take a nice deep breath in. your body, your mind, relax and focus. Soft your both legs, open our left leg. Uh, this is my right leg, I'm doing mirror size. 
silly like a mirrors, especially to this form. Okay, hands up. Now chin down. And your know, arms down. Lower body strength. That's back and forward. Slap your arms. Dao Juan Hong. Pull back. So you can feel this opposite. Back and forward by you just relax. See right here? You relax down your chi and switch. Let's move on to the next. Shift your way. Yin Yang Palm. T stands. These are all our basic. Remember earlier we warm up uh, T stands and bow stands combine for in now set it down yin yang palms heavy light heavy light good set it down and little chi down I often say like a we are like a plant. We got roots, right? Your body just like a trunk. Your body and the feet. You got roots down. Let's move on to the next circle. Holding ball. Good. Then switch your arms. Up and down. Dantian leading. Let's take it right in front. Small circle. And then open now. Now check your hand. Don't need to reach too high. Now some people are like, oh, I gotta relax sometimes. Too low like this. You gotta get up enough strength. How high? You see the wrist, same high as your shoulders. Okay. That's one last time. Yeah, ma, fen zhong. Next one. Switch arms. Right foot in. Shift way left. See right here, way on the left side, then switch. Remember earlier I mentioned about it. Lift up light, drop down light. And to feel in your feet, your right leg off ground lightly. Drop down gently. Repeat again. And we are going back after this. Yeah, by your upper body, keep a circle back. Back to the right side. Switch arms, feet together. And just turn, switch arms, step out, and turn, switch, and turn. Okay, one more. Next one, going to do some balance. Okay, it'll let pump up, drop down. Let the roots go down to the ground. Open up. Drop down and switch. Okay, now roots down. This energy is opposite. And then open. Back. Now make sure lower body never complete straight. Keep it bending a little bit. Uh, slow down. Slowly up. Bring down. Okay, now we are kicking. Right hand on the bottom. Right hand in the front. Open, knee up. Okay, now you kick. 
open now. Back to the Dantian. Settle down. You don't have a kicking high. See, so feeling this way. Knee up on the Dantian. Kicking out. You can kick in low, bending and relax. Want to slow down if you're more challenging for balance. Chi down, kick in. Even you need a little supporting by the floor, you do so. Yeah, that's okay. It's your Tai Chi. Relax, knee up and kick. Good, bend in. Now we're holding the ball back to our right side, right in right hand, and let go. Roll, back, roll, forward. Chi down. Right foot in. Right hand, stay on top, left and left leg back. To your Dantian. And we go. Let go. Pull back. Open, let go. All right. Let's we are repeating. Now, changing in the middle right here. See, so drop your cheek down the left. Right hand, right leg back. Now, Dantian go to the right. And you let go. Reach out. Pull back. Turning. Both hands pushing away. So even this movement's pandu ji an. You can just practice this and bend for your lower body. Flow energy and coordinations. Pushing away. Nice. Let's go, we are closing this, okay? Right arm open, circle, getting your energy back, from low, up, let go. And relax. Left leg back. All right, so this is a simple A movements, uh, Yang style Tai Chi. And uh, I practice double, so each one we did it four times. Uh, regular form too short. And uh, doing the Tai Chi, very important benefit. You need to practice at least uh, 10 minutes or beginning seven minutes or seven to 10 minutes between. That would be great um, um, because uh, it's a very short form. Uh, in the traditional way, one form we practice like uh, 15, 20 minutes, some even a half hour. Uh, it depends what level you are, you know, longer, uh, one like 70 movements, 73, 74, uh, or your ADA 108, those form. Uh, anyway, that's why we are, this is the beginning, we we'll stay simple, but we double up. Now, uh, one thing is that your muscles, uh, that your movements get more familiar with it. And uh, also training something simple. Now for like you guys on the live chat, you guys practice for a long time with me, which is great. Uh, we keep that beginning in mind to practice something even we already know. Um, so oh, that's great. Okay, so next one, I'm gonna talk about a little bit uh, how to feel heavy. Now, sometimes uh, when we practice Tai Chi, people oh, Tai Chi need to be flow. Flow's not supposed to be heavy. But actually, that's not true. Uh, just like yin and yang, we need a yang energy. We need a yin energy to support it. Now, if we, you make a yang energy, we also need to be um, 
you know, yin and yang is supporting each other, which I mean, we all know that that's what you are here in this first place. <laughs> so when we're doing the Tai Chi here, heavy, it's, let me show you the side way. So basically your hand would, for example, use this beginning movements to feel heavy, see up and down, right? Right now I'm lower body, not movement at all. But when we practice, yes, we was a lower body. I will go, go there, explain to you. So look at this part. When you go up, now how we feel heavy by physically, um, of course, you got to think in <laughs> mentally too. So when your hand rising up, when you visualize this pose, just hand reach up and push down, right? So your arms, we call da bi. This is a upper arm. This one, xiao bi in Chinese, da means big. Xiao is small. So it's small forearms, okay? So when you practice the beginning, you only feel in your upper arm, not your shoulder, no, you know that, no, not like this. You're, you're feeling this part only, let this part completely relax, right? Then when you're doing like this, this muscle, you generate the energy to uh, lift your arms. When you're feeling this part, out, especially the outside here, you can feel in your, your hand, little heavy. So that heavy feeling in your mind. So when you practice, Every time you're like rising your arms, you're feeling that part. See, this muscle can control in it, go rising, and if feeling heavy, go down. It's give you naturally. So that already feels heavy, right? So let's go try both hands. I'll just open it. We don't use lower body yet, but we will. I will explain to you another extra heavy and balance. So ready? We inhale. Exhale. Okay, now inhale, just feel your uh, upper your arm, just leading forward, front arm, now holding there, don't higher than your shoulder, sometimes people are too high, uh, we don't need to, just let this way, can you feel this heavy right in front, this, this part to this part, uh, kind of go down like this, now you feel the energy is right here, on, your, on top of your wrist, okay? And then we'll go down, your, your forearm, relax down. Then elbows, and then your palms. Now right here, holding here for a second. Can you feel the heavy right here? Palm. This point, laugums, uh, heavy. Okay, and then sometimes I remind you, when you finish, your fingers tips relax. So then let the energy go. Can you feel your hand, probably your tendon, my hand, you know, the blood, it, you know, and our energy track into the heat. So that's how you train your internally. Now that's very simple when you go up and down. So now with the lower body, I'm like I mentioned before, why san he, external three connecting. Just basically your shoulder, hips, knees, elbow, wrist, and ankle. Uh, this joint, most time they are work together by naturally. You don't even think about it. But when we practice Tai Chi, we get back to think about them a little bit, okay? So let's open up both legs. Now, first thing you kind of relax down the chi on Dantian. Now think about your upper arm rising you up and at the same time, your hips, your knee little straight. Now feel it heavy. Once you feel it heavy, drop the chi down, shoulder hips down. Then elbows, knees down, palms down. And remember earlier I mentioned your palm heavy? Not yet. You're feeling your feet open like we got three roots. Deep, go deeper down, spread outside. Uh, so it give you better balance. <laughs> okay, then relax. So that's how you feel in a heavy bite. Just very simple. Inhale, exhale. Use your mind guiding your body to drop down uh, and transforming section by section, step by steps, so then you can be um, more easier. Okay, so that's one thing I understand. Now, I'm gonna add in a little bit. So for example, 24 young. So after this, we holding the ball, then pulling wild horses, man. we're starting doing the movements, right? Now, sometimes we, we are distracting by the movements. That's why we're forgetting how to let our mind guide in. Now, of course, um, 
if you are a beginner, completely don't know those things. You can't even, you, you, you just don't know where should I start. That's why you copy the movement. Yes, copy the movement first. You are beginners. Uh, this is, you can just copy the movements. And later on, you're more understanding, okay? I uh, keep observing it. Uh, so let's, based upon what we just did earlier, okay, we go down. Now, this is heavy, right? So let's just stay here for a second. Okay, I'm gonna do a mirror size and shift way to, to this way, which means you to your right size, okay? So look at this part of beginning opening. So when you open, see, come back. If I do a little exaggerated from small, Big. See that? That's uh, exaggerated. Make it bigger. But when I practice, I don't do that much. Now, right here, but you visualize right there, okay? From here, expanding. Uh, so we open your hand, little rising. So naturally, once you inhale, your, your, your oxygen into your lung, your body will be expanding naturally. All right? Then, so you turn your body to the right. See that? So your hips, shoulder, elbow, then to your hand. And then, chi down, get back to center, and become holding the ball. So early I was just helping you this idea to how you visualize that section by sections come up. And that will increase your balance, and then your mind use the way to track in the movement that's movie meditations, okay? All right, so let's go. I'm gonna fish in that way to the mirrors. Um, and we practice beginning the movements, pulling wild horses mane to white queen spin wings. Today, I'm gonna polish a little bit of the 24 Yang style Tai Chi, okay? Okay, first of all, we drop your bows. Knee down a little bit, so your chi settle down, open your left foot. Relax down. Remember earlier thinking, your forearm, uh, your upper arm leading your forearm, heavy. And chi down, light. Also little by little drop. You don't need to go too low. Now right here, expanding, turn left, holding the ball, T stands. Keep a turn, step out, section by section, Dantian shoulder, elbow, palm. Okay, take it back, roll. Now right here, See, normally people go up, don't go. You go down, lower body, take care. It's balance. And parting while horses mane. Come back. Settle down, lower body, take care. And section by section, expanding. Section by section, coming back. From Dantian, turn up, shoulders, elbow, palm, and chi down, shoulders, elbow, palm, back. And so we are keep it going, brush knees and push. Now right here, sending out, back, open, now chi down. Let go, come back, blocking, chi down, and push. Okay, I just enough by the edge, <laughs> the screen. Picking up, last one, we're gonna be stopped right here. Okay, so we, pi pa. I just stop here for a second. This is for sections. Now let me give you some idea um, when, when you practice the Tai Chi. Now, here's one thing. I'm gonna explain to you a little bit. Uh, I know that in translated from one language to the other language always has a little different, okay? So even spelling 
Tai Chi, C H I、uh, in English spelling, right? So that's why a lot of people think about oh that Qi energy. So Tai energy, right? Is in front. You guys think about that that way. Tai and energy. What's Tai meaning? What's Qi meaning?、Uh, from from that words, probably Qi. That's energy, right? And Tai. Uh, if you know in your Tai Chi or you research it before or you don't know, that's okay. Tai meaning look at this. This word,、uh, we have a, a, a Chinese word on the side. Tai. This first word is Da. This so one, two, three. That's in Chinese character. Da Da means big, but Tai and Da a little different. You add a little Da on the bottom <laughs> between here. You add a little Da. What you can call Tai. Time means unlimited, unlimited like a universe. You can see the end,、uh, like Earth. We see outside the stars. We always can see, cannot see the end, right? And qi actually Chinese we don't call tai qi. We call tai ji.、Uh, sometimes people in the social media people asking what's the difference between tai qi and tai ji.、Uh, that's how we. Spelling uh, 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 in Pinyin,、uh, Mandarin Pinyin, Ji Ji means limit. Imagine this is a circle. Okay, this is the use of this part. All right, Tai and Ji. Okay, Ji means limit. Tai means unlimited. So Tai Ji just like Yin and Yang. So imagine this part. Okay, circle, which means represent what Tai. No, no end. The, the 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 just constantly go like our tire. This never stop. Always circle. That's unlimited. G. If for center go out, they always limit you. Right? You didn't go too far. <laughs> you still follow the circle. Doesn't matter how big circle you drew. You always has limited because you follow the circle.、Uh, so that's a very, you know, very simple basic philosophy.、Uh, even Taoism.、Um, Eating the first thing come up from the books is eating.、Uh, probably a lot of Western、uh, know that book.、Um, it's an incredible book.、Uh, even <laughs> my age, I'm still a lot of thing try to figure out. I'm just knowing very very teeny tiny.、Uh, it benefited me a lot already. So anyway, I will continue to learn. So Tai Chi when we practice Tai Chi, <laughs> it's okay. We、we'll、follow this culture because in Western. People use Tai Chi, so that's ideally. But it's our job to explain to people when you practice Tai. Okay, your energy is is a、uh, unlimited. Okay, sometimes strong, sometimes little, little less strong, sometimes high, sometimes low. But you limited. You want to in the middle. Okay, you don't want your energy jet up, or you don't want your energy falling down. Which let me show you walking. Okay. So look at this part. Very basic walking. All right. Now when I talk about it, get back to what we have in the earlier. The first you learn how to walk in 点面食 right? So 点 if you walk, heel down first, 面 entire foot, and then you transfer your weight, right? 点面食 just like you walk. 点面食点面食点面食 You don't even need to think about it. It's right there. But Tai Chi, we are very important. We are slow down our mind because we live the world every day is faster, faster. Even now, we have cell phone on the hand. We think we know everything by then, but sometimes we call <laughs> Chinese call, ah,、uh, 当局者迷，旁观者清 When we play the chess, if you are the player, you all you see is this small. The people might be see more clearly from the size. Anyway, let's we'll get back to what we、uh, focus on today. Okay, let's open your right foot. Okay, all right, right hand on top, left hand holding the ball. Was based upon we just did it earlier. I'm gonna go continue to polish this moment. Okay, so you left leg go forward. Now here's a circle. Go forward. You open, and you put them down. Okay. Now your hand. I'm gonna fish into you now. Okay. So look at this part holding the ball, circle per- precisely, right? Now when you ready to go forward, you let the energy simply energy stop. But look at this, your energy 
continues, which means your energy become unlimited. And then right here, you finish, right? Let me show you this part. When you finish, you drop a chi down, you let the energy expand a little bit. When you want you expanding, you don't can go to the next, which means you're doing the limited movements. Okay, this is my posture. I stop right here, but don't stop. I use my internal energy to expanding and come back to flow through it, which means you become unlimited movements, unlimited energy. So you have a expanding contract, expanding contract. Okay, that makes sense. If you don't, that's okay. Let's go practice. We feel that one. Continue movements. You gotta reach every posture, but at the same time, we are controlling, become the energy uh, constantly move. Okay, all right, let's try again. Okay, soft your knees down, open your left foot. So we slow down, we can recognize our movements. Okay, that's why you gotta think in a little bit, breathing in, heavy. And light. Heavy the end, open. Holding the ball. See right here, T stands. Now we are circle, continue, go. Step forward, open. Now the end, pun, expanding. Bending your back leg, way back. Okay, right here, energy down to the lower body. Uh, right here, see that circle? And go. Pun. Come back. Holding the ball. Good. Your mind has a pasta finish, but we keep it going to the next. Holding the ball. That's why we breathing in here. Exhale. Turning, blocking, blocking. See right here, gentility. Let go. Now hold, lower body tight, upper body relax. I shouldn't say tight. <laughs> and there's no tightness. That's controlling. And let go. All right, I'm still by the edge. Follow steps, see that? Way back. Left hand, left leg picking up. And we go. Okay, let's keep it going. Pull back. It's the second section of 24 Young. So you shift way back and push. Now I want you to focus on this one. Um, if you're a beginner, you guys, just try to focus on the footwork. Step back, way on the back. And the people experience to feel the heavy and light. See front hand leading, back and go. Feeling a circle right here. And then pushing away. And then we let go. Come up. And let go. Now holding the ball. Turning, warding off, okay. See that, we did the eight movements, then 24 movements, same thing as this. And push, open, let go. Okay, let's take it back to the right. Holding the ball. And breathe out. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, get through it. And if you are just learn Tai Chi, you can just copy through it. Yeah. If you're losing track, just follow the footwork. Okay, single weight, right arm down, right foot in. 
shake your way. Hook in. Breathe. And settle down. Left arm down, turning. Three circles, and three, yun shou. Last time. Okay, second single weight. Five fingers hooked together, open, and get down. All right, follow steps. Back it halfway forward, way back, front him back, top him forward. Yin yang, opposite energy. Okay, left hand on top, open, step out. And then, heel kick. Back and go forward, and then, Boxing years. Okay, now we turn 180 degrees. Crossing. Now a second heel kick. You don't have to kick in high. Okay, circle block, hook up. And snake creep down. Balance. Are you guys still yin yang? Are you guys still balanced? And tai chi? Uh, should be tai chi. Yeah. That's all right. Ho. Pun. Uh, each pastor, you need to get through it and try to recognize yourself to make sure you don't stop. You can slow then. Yeah. Holding the ball. And little cheek connecting. Open. Follow steps. And breathe. Down. Open the fan. Okay. Way back, two blocks, left foot in. Punch. Open, forward, both stands. Now under, relax down, pushing away. Okay, that is a 24. That's our Tai Chi. Lay back. Okay, that was the whole thing. Twenty-four. Uh, this form is the most uh, popular. Which means so many beginners that people they practice twenty-four. Sure, I did a story with you uh, last time. Uh, I think uh, three years ago, probably. Well, maybe more. <laughs> well, last year and this year kind of kind of you know want to cancel them. <laughs> but anyway, the last China trip we take students. Uh, to the China, and there's one day that that day we call it's in Shanghai. It's kind of that day is kind of free because it's beginning the trip, right? So we arrive, people, somebody have jet lag, so we try to adjusting our you know the uh, energies you know from from west back to the east. Um, so we try to catch the time, right? Some people really tired, but anyway. So second day, we wake up some student. They they wake up because the hotel just by the big park. Um, um, I forgot how to say that, but anyway, and then they, they try to exploring, right? They exciting, oh, you know, to China travel. So they go just by the park. One go by the park, and me and Karen, and then we are together. You know, okay, after breakfast, we just walk in there to park too. And you know what happened? Our students are already out there. <laughs> and you know what happened? They are with the logo Tai Chi practitioner. They have like. A, it was what twenty people ish, something like that. They are just chatting each other. Even they don't have a Chinese. They don't have a language. 
uh, you know, my students only speak English. They are the Chinese, they only speak Chinese, but they have the same language. They are practice 24 young together. Just like this, everyone like me, I have a, I speak English, but I know that's not perfect. I have an accent, I cannot quit because that's that's my accent. Everybody have different accent. So they are have a different movement, movements, but they have a different flavor. Uh, some maybe do differently, but that's okay. We have a kid practice Tai Chi, we have a you know, senior practice Tai Chi with them, they're all senior. Yeah, most all senior, they have some youngers. So they, in the morning, in the park, they practice. So that I that picture when I saw that it just really, really um, touched because Tai Chi, Tai Chi, we all focus on what our energies, balance, harmonies. Um, and you can see that this Tai Chi to kind of like a language. They speak Tai Chi as a language together, harmony. So that's a story uh, always in my head uh, to make my um, my passion and try to connect in. Um, the East and West, the culture, so we can share this uh, great art together. So thank you, appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully today's class, you can learn something and uh, have some fun. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Finish this class, okay? And so, and relax. Now, if you guys are interested in the turn style staff, what you mean, if people are beginners, I would recommend you don't need to learn that one. That's a little bit hard, a little challenging, but I will be pub published to my Tao Universe uh, Online Academy. Uh, learning that will be pretty soon in two weeks. Uh, I'm missing the one part, uh, but uh, I try to add in on more. So if you, anyone interested in Chen style staff. So I created that form a few years ago. Uh, so far, students like it. They encourage me to put it on it. So I did. Uh, so anyway, I'll see you next time. All right. Happy practice. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, we'll see you later. Again. Oh, now, thank you, Robert. Thank you, Bali and Guan. And thank you, Diane. All right. Thank you, all of you guys today. Uh, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sean. I know you got this. <laughs> Appreciate it. And yes, yeah, so the little philosophy make it my 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 our you know my in a different way to see different things, even simple things, uh, make it more deeper. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> Thank you, and thank you, uh, uh, new friend. Thank you. I will see you guys, and next time I will be. I have an in-person class coming, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.